Bom jour, ça va? Heard you on a menage toi, we done de toi He tell me we be mama If you broke nigga, no fee fa sa Tell him suck a blah uh. One thing I can't stand is a broke nigga uh. Tell a fuck boy, au revoir hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing an in-depth three-in-one tutorial on how i bleach pluck and style my frontal wigs so if you guys want to know how i achieve this then keep on watching okay so the hair i'll be using today is from aliexpress hair vendor called adorable official store i'll leave everything down below so inside you get a wig cap the wig obviously this is a 20 inch body wave wig in 180 percent density it has a very beautiful natural wave and this is very thick and soft okay to bleach your notch you obviously need your bleaching powder so i've got this from the hair shop which is so cheap and simple you also need your peroxide i got the 30 percent volume which i recommend for beginners you also need a mixing bowl, the Tresemme freeze hold spray or you can use a got to be glued, a spray bottle, a butter knife and a hairbrush of course. Okay to start the bleaching process you need one and a half scoops of bleaching powder. Don't use too much because you won't need all of it. Literally you just need a little bit. Then you want to get your peroxide and just use a bit at a time just to get the right consistency. Don't put a lot because you really need a thick like paste texture so i went back in and added more so it can be more pasty and more thick to a consistency that looks a bit like this i'm going to show you in a bit okay guys this was the consistency i was talking about you really want it to be thick you don't want it to be runny because it will peek through your knots and then your whole lace will just bleach and you really don't want that to happen right now i'm just cutting the lace at the back because you don't need it I'm getting a Tresemme freeze hold spray. You can also use a spray bottle of water. I'm literally just spraying the hairline and just brushing away the baby hair so that it doesn't get bleached because it tends to happen when you do bleach knots that if you over bleach, then your baby hairs will get bleached too. Okay, we're gonna start off with the whole bleaching process. I'll just give it a little mix before starting. Okay, so when you are starting bleaching the knots, I recommend starting from the back of the lace. The only reason why I'm saying this is that it's just in case you over bleach, the back will get affected more than the front. So whenever you are bleaching the knots, just start from the back and then work your way forwards. Also, when you are applying the bleach, don't push the bleach in, otherwise you will end up bleaching your hair and it will peek through and it's just not gonna look cute. So just be very light handed with this, take your time. Obviously this is sped up so it may look like I'm rushing or being very harsh but honestly I took my time. So yeah, just make sure you cover the whole lace, literally you want the whole lace to be covered with bleach. Okay, once the whole lace is covered with bleach, you just want to let it sit for 30 minutes, keep checking on it and then you come back and wash it. Okay, after 30 minutes you want to wash off the bleach so what i like to use is lukewarm water and just literally go in and wash off the bleach off the lace just go in with your hands make sure all that bleach is off the lace okay once you're done washing the lace it should look something like this obviously it's very brassy very orange and that's not what you want so i get my purple shampoo and literally put that on the lace and we're gonna wash the lace so this tones the knots make sure that the brassiness is just gone so it just becomes more natural After you've thoroughly washed the lace, you want to leave that to sit for three minutes and you want to come back and rinse it off. So now you're rinsing it off, just do the same process. Use lukewarm water and just get rid of all of that soap. Okay, so once it's done, your lace should look something like this. As you can see, it looks very natural and this is what you want. Okay, so now we're just going to brush the hair. Just want to detangle the hair just in case there's any knots. And I'm literally just brushing it to get it ready for the plucking process. Okay, so this is how the hair looks like when it's semi-dry. As you guys can see, it took a while to the bleach and it looks very natural. We're going to start off with pinning the lace down. So I'll get my T-pin and literally just pin the lace down so that it's steady and it doesn't move. I also do a middle part so that I know where the parting is roughly, if you get what I mean. So when I'm going to pluck the hair, you guys can see that there is a dense part. So the black area is where I'm going to pluck. So I don't really part anywhere, I'm just going to pluck. 
so i get my spray bottle and it's just spray so it's easier for me to pluck so i just use any tweezer any random tweezer it doesn't have to be too expensive it doesn't have to be any special tweezer literally any tweezer would do and all i do is literally pluck where the dense area is so i literally avoid the front of the hairline and i start where the line of demarcation is if you guys see what i mean that the front area is light and then the black bit is where you want to pluck so i literally just go through and just pluck 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 okay so i just want to get a bit closer so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing so i just spray the hair with water and literally just pluck where the hair is dense so all the thick black hair that is behind the hairline you literally just want to pluck there take your time don't rush obviously this is bed up so you might think i'm like you know rushing but honestly take your time this is very time consuming so just take your time so that you don't get you no know, bold spots do you get what i mean so i don't know if you guys realize but i did start in the middle i have recommend starting in the middle just in case you do mistakes you don't want it to be at the front of the hair because people will tend to notice that so always start in the middle or at the end of the hairline but as you guys can see the front of the hairline is very very dense you just want to be careful the front you don't want to pluck too much just pluck a little bit okay once you're done plucking you literally just want to brush all the hair that's been plucked out so it's just out of the way and i'm just going to show you guys how it looks like before and after so you guys can definitely see the difference from before and after so yeah that's literally how you pluck and you literally just do the same to the other side Okay, now we're going to move on to styling the hair so i recommend having a mannequin head and a stand it just makes everything easier so i'll just get my styling wax and literally put the wax all over the hairline so it can have a sleek and smooth effect so i'm a bit of a perfectionist so i need to know where the middle part is so once you've got your middle part in or any part in desired you literally just want to carry on smoothing the hair so everything is just all in place then you want to grab your hot comb be very careful when using a hot comb it is extremely hot like i've burnt myself many times with a hot comb so you just want to literally go on top of where you put the styling wax and literally just smooth everything together literally you just keep doing that until you get a nice sleek look Okay, this step is optional. I grab my got to be glued freeze blasting spray and literally just spraying on top to give it a much better slick look. You don't have to do this, I'm just a bit extra, but it just makes it look a bit better and nicer. So if you guys remember this hair was a body wave hair but it kind of lost its texture when I washed the hair. So I'm going to style this hair. So I'm going to split this hair into two sections and pin it up with a butterfly clip. I'm going to get a small section and I'm going to start curling the hair. So what I do is I use this curling iron. You guys have seen this before. You guys have seen this technique before on my channel. I'll put the link on how I curl my hair in the description below. So I do have a full in-depth video on how I curl my hair, I will leave that in the description box below. So I didn't really focus it too much on this tutorial, I just left that aside and I'm going to show you guys the end result. Okay once I've done curling the hair, this is how the hair looks like after curling it. I literally just go back in with the styling wax and just smooth it out a bit more 
like I'm just such a perfectionist I just need to make sure that everything looks nice so I just go back in the front of the hairline just make sure everything is smooth and in place and just how I like it before I take pictures of the hair so I go back in with the got to be glued freeze basting spray and it's just spray around the hair so everything just stays in place and it's just slick and smooth and she not perfect and yeah once again i grab my hot comb and literally just smooth everything out you guys can see the steam coming off the hot comb you guys know how hot this hot comb was i was actually kind of getting scared that i'll burn myself but yeah guys it's really hot so be careful but yeah that's literally it when it comes to the style in my wigs this is literally all i do nothing too hard nothing too you know so yeah guys that's literally how i bleach pluck and style my wigs for myself for my clients you can also apply all these steps to doing closure wigs as well let me know what you guys think of the hair and how i did if you guys want more videos like this let me know in the comments down below also check out my hair and beauty page on slay by abby on instagram don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys